director, Mr. Pat Buchanan. Pat, welcome to the program. Roger, thank you for having me on. The ideas I have advanced in the last four or five years and that we hold and advance and articulate today are the best chance America has of getting out of the fiscal, social, and uh, spiritual crisis in which we find our country right today. Ladies and gentlemen, we have with us on the phone this evening, Ross Perot. Ross, welcome. How are you? I'm doing good, partner. I have a question for you, Ross. What is your ultimate goal? To see that the 21st century is the best in this country's history. I have lived the American dream, probably nobody alive in this country that's been luckier than I am, from my parents on through Mary and Margot to five wonderful children to business success, you name it. If anybody in this country has an obligation to try to make sure that we pass on the American dream to the next generation, I do. First of all, Jews were a very important part of the German culture. Right. right. And, and for hundreds of years, I mean, their, their lineages, the family lineages, go way back in German history. They, they didn't just come, you know, meandering into Germany six months before the war. And a lot of people, I think, don't realize that these, these were German citizens, people who were generations Germans. Yes. Oh, Our guest today to is someone who does understand that. Uh, he's a professor at Columbia U. Uh, his name is Philip Hamburger. He's a Yale Law School graduate. Uh, Philip, welcome to the show. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Good to be here. Um, first, tell people a little bit about your book and what it's about. Well, my book's called Is Administrative Law Unlawful? And in asking that question, as, as you can tell, it, it concludes that the answer is it's probably not lawful. Um, the book tries to explore administrative power and what it really is. Uh, from the Bay Area, one of my newfound heroes, Rosa Corey, joins us. Hello, Rosa. Hi. Hi, Roger. How are you doing? Well, I'd be doing better if I hadn't been asleep while my community was taken over by the robber barons. <laughs> That's the truth, isn't it? It's so wild. Um, I guess I, just to start out with, uh, just give me an explanation of, of who you are, who's, uh, or what is the Post Sustainability Institute, and um, how did you enter and in, get involved in trying to stop a UN agenda? 